Hello and welcome to Testimony Tuesday, which I'm changing today to Thankful Tuesday. We all are familiar with the verse, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. How grateful and thankful I am for this day. And I hope that you are too. Just imagine in a couple of days, you'll be sitting at the table and join family and friends as we celebrate Thanksgiving. There's so much for us to be thankful for. Our friends, our family, food on the table, the jobs that we have, all that God has done and continue to do in our lives. And yet when we're at that table, some of you might be missing a loved one. Maybe they're serving our country overseas or um, maybe they couldn't come home for the holidays or in fact maybe they've gone to be with the Lord and for that person that you miss so dearly I know there's an empty void there but remember we serve a Prince of Peace who will comfort you even during the time of missing that loved one I would say to you this Thanksgiving Day to look around that table even close your eyes for a moment and listen to the laughter and the joy in the air. Next year, someone there may not be there next year. Life is short and it's but a vapor. We're literally here today and then gone. Oh, how wonderful it would be if we were just here forever and never worried about growing old or getting wrinkles or getting gray hair, all those things that just happen. But they do happen. And we're not here forever. Although, to have Jesus in your life is to have eternal life and live forever. We will have people at Thanksgiving, maybe that family member or members, that seem to be a little frustrating or trying, you know, some of the ones that you're like, oh, I can't, be, I can't believe they're coming this year again. You know, maybe try to adjust your attitude towards them. They may always be the way they are, but you don't have to react to the way they are. Sometimes we just got to love people for who they are right there. Whether you choose to spend being in their life a lot or a little. Just love them, give them a hug, let them know you care. Again, we never know what happens from here to there, one moment to the next. As I said, this is the day, the day the Lord has made. I was reflecting on, the, on that day, the word day, day. There's 24 hours in a day. So much happens in one day. Yesterday's gone. We'll never have that day back again. Tomorrow isn't even here yet. We don't even know what we have lying before us or what lies ahead of us for tomorrow. But we have today. So much can happen in one day. It could be joy, it could be sorrow, it could be pain. You could wake up happy and get bad news. You could wake up complaining, only to find out that someone has something even worse to complain about or going through something that you never thought about. Someone could leave your home and, you know, sadly end up in an accident. So much can happen in one day. And yet, this day, this gift, don't waste it being bitter, angry, complaining. There's a lot of things that happen beyond our control already in a day. Things that we never see coming. And I was thinking about some families having a great time listening to the high school band marching in Wisconsin. And a madman the devil, the enemy, came through and destroyed the lives of many, injured many, and killed others. 
how sad it is that we live in a day and time where we can't even enjoy a parade. Some still have fear of going to a movie theater, fearing that someone may try to shoot in there or even a bomb. I know earlier in the year we heard of a car local carnival that was here in town and there was some shooting and they had to shut down the carnival. It all happened within a day. One moment, I remember when Blake was in high school and I got a call that there was a bomb threat. He had just left home, wasn't even there long enough to hear that they had to shut the school down. It all happened in one day. Let me share the scripture with you. John 16, 33. I have told you these things. This is Jesus speaking. I have told you these things so that in me you may have perfect peace. Because in the world you will have tribulation and distress and suffering. But be courageous. Be confident. Be undaunted. Be filled with joy. I have overcome the world. My conquest is accomplished. My victory is abiding. There's another version that says, in this godless world, you know, there are not nice people that live here. There's great people, and then there's some people who are just mean, and they're rude, and they're godless, and they could care less about humanity. But, you know, having Christ gives us that peace. It gives you the peace when you don't even understand what's happening. You know, the world has changed so much. And yet when we think it can't get worse, nothing else, it can't get worse than this, something else happens. I would say to you to th this day on this thankful Tuesday, let's be thankful for what we do have. Let's be thankful not just for the house and the car and the job, but for the family. For the moments that you can sit together and even watch TV in peace. For the moment you can sit together at a table and have dinner. For the moment you make your child's lunch and hand it to her as she goes off to school and you give her a kiss and say goodbye. Let's be thankful for all those special moments that we have. Even the moment of waking up your child in the morning saying, get up. Because one day that child will be gone. Whether she's graduated and went to college or married off and you'll look back and reflect on those moments. So in everything, in every day, give thanks. Enjoy and savor the moments that you have in your life. Enjoy and then savor the people that God has put in your life. There will always be challenging people in our lives. But you still let them see the goodness in you, the God in you, the love in you, the joy in you. And no matter how many godless, crazy, angry people that we may encounter... Let your light shine in the midst of darkness. Remember the word of God that says, He who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you don't have Jesus Christ in your life as your personal Lord and Savior, call upon the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. Life is already challenging, but I can tell you, having the Lord and knowing that you have His peace, it's His peace that will give you strength when we're weak. It's His peace that will give you strength when you don't understand craziness and madmen driving and doing, you know, unthinkable things to families just having a day of joy. 
and everything give thanks. Thank God that you're here. Thank God for all that he's already given you. So many times we want more, we want this, we want that. But remember what you are wanting. Somebody else wish they already had. The, the things that you have now, someone else is praying for. So I thank you so much for taking time to listen. From Gloria Rain Ministries, our family to yours, we wish you a very happy and safe Thanksgiving. Enjoy those that you are with. And for those of you who are like, I'll be celebrating Thanksgiving by myself this year, be thankful. Just be thankful that you're alive and you're well and you're able to celebrate another day that God has given you. Please follow us on <laughs> sorry my son makes me laugh you know he's my little cameraman in the back but please follow us on Facebook we also have daily inspirations that we do every day just to bring encouragement why do we like to bring encouragement because we all need to be encouraged you know no matter who you are no matter how much you smell we have those moments where we just need a little pick-me-up and that's what we like to bring you every day and also subscribe to us on YouTube. Again, Happy Thanksgiving. God bless you.